Alright, everybody. Just yesterday, we got a uh, couple demos and some pictures of the Home Depot animatronic lineup. Today's the final day of the Home Depot manager's meeting, because today is, I think, the 14th, right? 15th. Well, then, hopefully somebody got a picture of Count Nosferatu, because it's over, uh, so I hope they got a good picture of him. But, we do have a decent picture. Not that big, not that perfect picture, but we are going to get to this. So, also, this video is not meant for, like, relaxing watching this. This is going to be a new type of video where I add memes and funny parts uh, and funny clips and memes from all over the internet. If you don't know what a meme is, it's a funny, uh, it's a funny, like, short video from something. So, I'm just going to be filling this thing with them to add to my commentary and to add to the, uh, amazingness. So, also, I would like to say that somebody mentioned, I don't know who it was in the community, who said that there's doubles of the animatronics set up. Like, there's a Frankenstein outside, there's one inside this ISC they made. There's a Nosferatu, it looks like, outside and inside. Kind of weird, I kind of like this approach, though. Um, because it's like he's following you, almost, or he's teleporting. But then again, I saw this in Spirit a couple years ago online, and it does not look good in a store. It does not, but it does look good here, because it's like he's teleporting all over the place. So, we have star are starting off with the Scarecrow. Looks really cheap. I think it's pretty much, uh, Jemmy. Jemmy's not that good. Um, it's... Jemmy's not, not that good. It doesn't look that good. Kinda looks like the Batman Scarecrow. A lot of people are liking this thing. I am not. I am not part of that percentage that likes it. So, uh, yeah. And then we've got this Pan-Asian Creations Witch. don't know about this thing. It's kind of weird. It's like, just cringe. It's literally not, <laughs> it's not cool. I mean, this is the worst Home Depot prop since 2019, for sure. It's just not good. This is like when they used to do Pan-Asian creations. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I know somebody said also, I don't remember your name completely, but somebody, somebody said, a while back about Lowe's, how they are selling some Sunstar props. That Because some people can't afford the big props, the professional props. So some people just like the Sunstar ones. So I guess Pan Asian Creations props are cheaper quality, cheaper price, everything like that. So that just kind of makes sense, but still not very good. For a company that is known for the top of line animatronics, even better than Spear Halloween, um... This prop is one of the worst animatronics I've seen in years. This witch is horrible. Um. Alright. Next we have got Count Nosferatu. <laughs> this thing is incredible. Look at this thing. Um. Now there are some rumors on what this is. And it's probably not going to be licensed. It's probably just going to be like a vampire. A bald vampire thing. But it looks so much like Count Nosferatu, it is perfect, classical vampire, it's just so creepy, Count Orlock looks, looks perfect, that's another name for him, and yeah, it's really cool, I just love how it looks, and it's just perfect, I mean, how could I better describe it, it's got like realistic looking eyebrows and stuff, it's just perfect, now, We've not really gotten a uh, Nosferatu or Count Orlock that is affordable lately. If you want to count the sources for 600 bucks, I mean, it is available to the public via online, but that's $600. This is probably going to be retailing around $350, $400, or under. But if you're buying it from eBay, or Mercari, or a scalping website where people scalp animatronics and sell them, you're gonna be paying more than the Distortions one, but, I mean, it looks as good as the Distortions one, and it's gonna move really cool. It looks like a Boogeyman reskin, so it's gonna be very neat. 
Um, yeah. So I'd also like to talk about the Reaper. He is a floating Reaper. Now he's not hanging. I'm the best! But he's actually a reskin of the Witch, it seems. Because he has a massive base. This is ginormous. Below, like, in front of him, his scythe is, his scythe is just going, sh funneling, like, straight to the ground, and he's holding on to it, and he's floating there. I don't know how he's gonna do in outdoor conditions, which he's made for, but then again, his Home Depot and should be doing pretty good with these things. Is this better than, like, the 15-foot Phantom? I don't know. It looks a lot cooler than the 15-foot Phantom, so hopefully we'll, it'll be great. Is it better than the witch? I don't know. It's up to you to decide that. The witch is also a pain in the butt to make, or uh, to set up. I bought one uh, from a Goodwill because they get old stock. And it was really affordable, like, why not? And it was welded backwards. So, what's the point? So, in, besides that, it's a pain in the butt to set up the witch. So this thing's probably even easier and a lot better. I just love how this thing looks. It is perfect. 